What's going on guys? My name is Spice. This is Spice Camp Fish. So in today's video, uh, me and my buddy Max went out to a few ponds and just tried to put some stuff together. There wasn't really anything super special that happened or any sort of goal or objective that we were going out to try and accomplish. We just wanted to get out and try and catch some fish. So today's video is just going to be a straight up fishing video. Uh, no gimmicks, no I'm going to try and make this a challenge video, nothing like that. Just, you know, average fun fishing. Before we jump into today's video, I just want to say if you enjoy, please leave a like on this video. I really appreciate it. Uh, it helps more people see my videos. On top of that, if you want to see some more content like that, please consider hitting that subscribe button as well. I really appreciate it. It helps me grow my channel and, you know, also helps more people see these videos. But enough of me talking. Let's get on down to the water and get into the action. All right, y'all. Getting on down to the water. Out here with the homie Max. So over here towards my left on the bank, he was so kind as to help me carry my kayak out today. And of course I'm gonna let him get on here a little bit, but uh, we're out here at this little extremely pressured body of water by me. It's pretty early in the morning, so it's not even 10. Actually, it's probably a little bit after 10 by now, but still pretty early on a Tuesday. And uh, there's already three people fishing here, not counting me and Max. So, this place could get pretty crowded in a little bit. Since it is so pressured, I'm gonna start with a little wacky rig. It's kind of my go-to for fishing pressured water. I feel like they always kind of eat it. All right, switched up to a Texas rig instead of a wacky rig, just so this comes through the uh, weeds a little bit better. I noticed I was having some trouble getting stuck, so maybe this will help. I would rather throw a wacky rig, but I just don't think it's going to get through the cover as well. So we're just throwing a weightless finesse worm, kind of hopping it around through these little grass beds. See if we can't get a bite. Oh my God, I just had one. Here's a bite. He's got it. Got him. Little guy. Water skiing, man. He's got a little bit of fight in him. Or he's just caught in the grass. One or the other. There he is. Wow. Just wow. I have no words. I think I, I might have killed him with that hook set. No, not really, he's fine. I actually got him on the outside of the mouth. Interesting. Man, you're dripping all over me, buddy. There we go. Hey, Max. Freaking Mondo, dude. <laughs> all right, awesome. See you. Uh, Texas rig. All right, little man, he's pretty at least. Have a good one. Thanks for biting. Get bigger. You got the right attitude. Can't deny that. The kid's got the right attitude. Just tossing around my favorite little worm as of recently. Little average zoom trick worm, six and a half inch. Motor oil color. Can't beat it. There's another one. Next cast. He's got it. He's running with it. I got him. 
damn it. Had another one though. Took the tail of my worm off. Little turd. All right, hang on. I'm gonna go talk to Max real quick. All right, converse with Max a little bit. Uh, he's gonna actually head on over towards this part of the pond. Again, like I said, this place is very heavily pressured, so it kind of actually completely fills up like every single spot on the bank that you could possibly have bank access from. There's someone standing there fishing it. So um, you kind of just got to get to a spot and stay there, more or less. Especially getting to be like this time of the day. It's a lot more people that are just kind of out dicking around trying to catch some fish, which is great. It also makes it a little challenging when you're trying to catch fish. That's a big old freaking carp right there. Wow, my heart stopped. I thought that was a bass for a sec. My heart freaking stopped. Hey, Max. I'm gonna go do a clip, a uh, quick wrap of, uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. I'm gonna go do a lap around the island. All right. Sounds good. And then we can head out. No way. I got a fish on. Whoa, chill there, little buddy. Chill out. Hooked him good. Gonna need the pliers. Right in the back of the throat. All right, there we go. And do a little bit of uh, hook manipulation, AKA cutting my hook, but that's okay, I'd rather cut the hook than kill the fish. All right, buddy, number two for the day, thanks. Oof, he's a feisty little bugger. All right, so that's two bites. Well, like five bites, two fish, both on this little worm. This thing's been doing a lot of work for me recently, I'll tell you what. been freaking crushing it. I guess it's kind of getting to be, be that time of the year when like the bluegill are starting to spawn and the bass are like just coming off of their spawn. So I think they're all just kind of feeding up on bluegills and uh, this is probably one of my favorite colors to uh, imitate a bluegill around this time of year. Something about that motor oil just does a really good job. It's got like that orange in it, so it looks kind of like the body of a bluegill. And then that little like chartreuse, I don't even know what you call it, pearlescence, I guess. I don't know. Looks good. Catches fish. Kind of an old school color. Been throwing it since I was kind of little. All right, pond number two, y'all. It's a little bit later in the day. Still out here with Max. Gonna see if we can get on a couple more fish before the day's over. Uh, we're both throwing Senkos, or actually, sorry, they're striking Ochos. Actually, yeah, you're throwing an Ocho too, right? You're throwing the striking Ocho? Yeah, so we're actually both throwing the same worm. Uh, he's just throwing a black and blue, where I'm throwing just straight black. And uh, we're just kinda Checking some of these reeds, seeing if there's any fish in here. Probably start over here and then kind of work our way around the pond. I know there's probably gonna be some up in the creek.
That was crispy. I thought that was going to be so bad, but it was so fucking good. <laughs> no way. Oh, yeah. oh, he's stuck. No, all right, hold on. Get free. I don't think so. He might not still be on there. Is he? You think? I'll go over there and get him. I'll walk all the way over there and get him. If you think he's still on there, I don't think he's still on there, but I don't feel anything. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it really is, because that's my last black worm. Oh, hang on. That was weird. I pulled and it felt like it gave a little bit. Oh, well, there it goes. Gosh darn it. All right, me and Max have kind of split the lake in half. He's gonna take the left side. I'm gonna take the right side. This looks pretty heckin' good right here. Looks like there should be some bass right around there. You know what? I'm actually gonna try and get to the other side and then cast from over there. I think that might be a little bit easier and a little bit better. Here's a fish. Does he have it? I think he's got it. Got him. Max, I got one. And you were all concerned about the sweet tater pie. Little guy. He's all right. He's not quite a pound, but he'll work. Been a long, relatively fishless day. So anything will be good right now. Come on, there we go. Ew, he's like jizzing out of his skin. I'll put him back. <laughs> he had like this white creamy stuff coming out of his skin. All right, that was pretty sweet. I took literally one cast in here and what do you know? There's a fish. I like that. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. It wasn't even where I meant to cast the first time either, so. Who knows? Maybe they're just kind of stacked up in this kind of little area over here. See if I can get up in here a little bit more. And this place is nasty right now. I don't know where all this floating debris came from, but it needs to go. So after I got that first bite and then broke off, is that a bass right there? No, it's just a reed. But uh, yeah, after I broke off my last black uh, Ocho worm, I had to switch over to something else, so we're throwing this little Bass Pro Shop Sticko. This is actually kind of an interesting color. It's called Sweet Tater Pie. I don't throw it very often, but I have this big old bag sitting in my bag. So I was like, you know what, why not give it a throw? Works pretty good in like the post spawn. Uh, again, it's kind of meant to imitate like a bluegill or a tilapia or something like that. Whatever kind of bait fishy colored forage y'all have in your body of water. But uh, yeah, it's actually not bad for like stained water like what we're fishing right now. So I'm going to probably be fishing these for a little bit on the channel just, you know, because they're kind of funny. And, they work, so may as well, right? Yeah. I got two bites, well, three bites, one fish, and then one that I uh, pulled it out of its mouth. But I think he was really little. It might have been a bluegill. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, there's another one. Does he have it? Yeah, I think he's got it. Yep, that's a better one, dude. That's a better one. Oh, yeah. oh, I think he's just in a lot of stuff. He's in a full tree. He's not bad. He's pretty little, actually. <laughs> he just came with a whole ass tree on him. <laughs> right? Yeah, he's a hefty little bugger. Yeah, future share lunker. That's what we call you. Call you Sharon, because you're a future share lunker. Uh, oh, sorry, towards like the, uh, hang on. Let me get this guy unhooked right quick. There we go. All right, little man, thanks for biting. Ow, yeah, you really are, he's a little chunky guy. All right, peace out. All right, that's two fish. Three bites, well, four bites, I think, because there's the one where I was in the tree, but I don't really know if that was a bite, but definitely three bites and two fish on the sweet tater pie worm. Huh. Water's up a little bit. That's kind of cool. Gonna fish over here real quick for just a few minutes. I want to try and hit that reed edge over there. Though I feel like there's probably gonna be some fish on it. Oh, Max has got one. There we go, dude. That's probably the best one of the day. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. What's up? All right, I'll be I'll come right over. Is he bleeding? All right, just keep him in the water for a minute. Oh man, Max has got himself a fish. And uh, in typical Max fashion, he decided to hook it way too deep in its throat. And it's probably gonna die. No, I'm just kidding, that fish will be fine. He's not bleeding or nothing. I just don't think his mouth is big enough for Max to get his hand in his mouth to get the hook out. So I gotta go help a bro out. Bring him some pliers. Sorry, buddy. There we go. Thanks, dude. Appreciate yeah, it. of course. Good job. You good job. I only caught the fish. <laughs> oh man. I need to do He's good. Hell yeah. Give me some, dude. Good stuff. Finally got one. Oh yeah. How's yeah? All right, y'all, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, again, please hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. Uh, it helps me grow my channel a little bit faster and helps more people see these videos. If you want to see some more videos like this, uh, please hit that subscribe button. I put up new videos every Monday and Friday, and uh, they're all just going to be mostly fishing content like this. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Tight lines, keep it real, and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.